Hi, just a little. How's it going? Are you good? Brilliant. So today what I'm going to be doing is this. As you can see, this is a restyled Honda Civic Type R. And I've gotten rid of that silly spoiler, wing, whatever you want to call it. I've given it an even amount of exhaust pipes, tailpipes, whatever you want to call them. And I've sorted out those two black vent type things, fake vents on the bottom of the car. Also rearranged the light cluster. So here, what I'm doing is I've created a new layer and basically I'm just gonna paint over the bits that I wanna change. This is all rough, by the way. Once I've sort of gone over the parts that I wanna change, I'm gonna um, go over them properly and sort of shade them in and stuff. Also, I discovered I can actually tilt the um, image rather than tilt in my head, which is just a habit I've built up over time. And um, yeah, so basically what I'm doing is right now I'm cutting out the light cluster because I'm rearranging that. The original lights kind of reminded me of a Volvo, so I wanted to get rid of that. And as we can see, I'm just literally just painting over the bits I don't want or the bits I'm wanting to change. including the spoiler. So there we go, it's um, beginning to disappear. So yeah, I'm not really a fan of the Honda Civic Type R. I did have a CRX, but that was probably back when it was a little more relevant. Nice little car though. Spun out on me a couple of times at a roundabout, although I was probably going a little too fast. Totally should not have part exchanged it for the piece of garbage that I got afterwards. As far as I know, this Honda Civic is only a two litre. Two litre and um, yeah, they give it some crazy styling like it's a, a three litre twin turbo, which um, it is not. And I also owned a three litre twin turbo, which was a 300ZX. ZX if you're in America. Uh, or Fair Lady Z. So yeah, these white things, these white bits I'm adding, are uh, just reflections, or light reflections. And um, I didn't add that white bit at the bottom there, that was already there. So I'm just tilting these to give them a little more of an aggressive look. Um, restyling, obviously, and uh, yeah. Wasn't, I, I really wasn't happy with the styling of this type. Uh, I mean, I'm still not because it's not changed, has it? Um, it's still the same um, in real life. And I have no idea why there's three tailpipes, exhaust pipes. I'm sure I've had that, um, I'm, I'm sure I've come across a reason for it, but um, I'm not really a fan of the Civic Type R, so I don't remember. So yeah, they gave it some crazy over-exaggerated styling and the wing was one of them. The spoiler. The spoiler was one of the craziest spoilers I've ever seen on a front wheel drive car. Not that it doesn't function or anything. It's just, you know, a little over the top. Now it doesn't look too bad here with two exhaust pipes, but I thought because they've given it three, I might as well give it four. And then, um, yeah, at least um, there's some sort of symmetry going on. Here we go with some more of this swivel action that I recently discovered.
so I didn't use any clone stamping in this until a bit later on and that was for that tree up near the window the tree and a bit of the uh, leaves and things Whilst doing this, I was actually listening to a podcast and um, this was done in my spare time. I was just kind of bored, so I sat down and did this. Maybe I should start working out again. Adding a little extra to this part of the bumper and this is where I start to modify the light cluster I mean I've already modified the light cluster I've taken that bit from the top and put it on the bottom but yeah I just thought I'd go that extra length and just I don't know cut off the top of it because it, it seemed a little more streamlined this way so I don't know that's what I did Here we go, I'm blending the light in to make it look a little more, a little more realistic. I think I prefer these lights to the original. I mean, like I said, it sort of just reminded me of the Volvo, so I had to get rid of that. It was just um, something, it was just something I had to do. Originally, when I'd seen the car, straight away I saw the, I saw those weird vents on the bottom of the car, the fake grill things and thought Ford Focus RS. If you take a look at the Ford Focus RS, the front of it, it looks like that. It just, I don't know, for some reason, it just kind of also reminded me of the Lamborghini, but uh, not quite. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised with some of the styling coming out of Japan, especially with the Lexus cars, some of them. I guess it's a uh, an acquired taste, perhaps. I guess you've got to be the type of person that is, I don't know, blind. Yes, I'll just say that I'm not really much of a fan. Like I said before, I did have a 300ZX, ZX, and, uh, it, you know, not all Japanese cars are badly styled. Just um, recently, they seem to be... Um, Maybe I shouldn't say anything else because, you know, if you can't say anything nice, then don't say anything at all. Talking about saying something nice, I've got a video coming out about comments soon. Comments, um, silly comments, hate comments, and how to deal with such. So um, check that out. The link is there. I've not even made the video yet, but you know, that's how optimistic I am about making the video. Nearly done with this now. And if you're thinking about using Photoshop or you want to get started using it, then I suggest you do that because that is the only way you're going to get better at using it or even be able to use it. Because without trying, you'll never know what you can do. I've been using Photoshop for quite some time now. If you're 14, I've been using it longer than you've been alive. If you're 18, I've probably been using it a little longer than you've been alive. So yeah. And this is the last part of the car I'm sorting out, the top. Getting rid of these bumpy bits adding a bit of a shadow and that will be about that. So yeah, there we go. That's um, that's a restyled Honda Civic Type R. And here we have the original. Really not a fan. Just had to do this. And um, yeah, there you go. See you next time.